Listen to me, Bridget. Are you listening closely? Yes. When you see chocolate, you will immediately think of mothballs. You'll smell them. The odor is overpowering. And the closer the chocolate is to you, the stronger the smell. Mothballs, no. Now, you don't put mothballs in your mouth, do you? No. You don't carry them in your purse or pockets or keep them at work, do you? No. No mothballs. Remember, chocolates mean the same to you as mothballs. Is that correct? Yes. Yes, that is correct. Bridget, I'm going to count to three, and when you awaken, you will feel as if you've woken from a wonderful dream. You'll feel refreshed and happy and very good about yourself. Are you ready? One, two, three. Well, I'm ready whenever you are, Dr. Cloud. Certainly, Bridget. But first, could you hold out your hand, please? Ugh! Oh, this smells horrible. Please take this away. It's making me sick. Thank you. Thank you all, most kind. This is just one example of the types of addictions that I can remove through hypnosis. I am fully licensed with a doctorate in hypnotherapy from the most respected institute in the country. Please, help yourself to copies of my magazine, Cloud 2000, which provides more information. Or visit my website at www.drcloud.com. Let hypnosis be the key that unlocks your potential. And let Dr. Cloud help you turn that key. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> hey, you. I didn't expect to see you till later. We still on for tonight? Absolutely. Uh, hey, I've got great news, but I had to come down to you in person. We might have a record deal. Oh, John, that's I great. I knew your luck would change. Your planets are finally in alignment right now. All right, all right. I know you don't believe in astrology. Anyway, yeah? who's the flying nun over there? It's Dr. Cloud. He's a brilliant hypnotherapist. My friends and I hired him to help Bridget. Dr. Cloud, your session was fascinating. Thank you, my dear, <clears throat> but please call me Darius. I hate stereotypical gay roles. I wanted to try a more straight male lead. Unfortunately, it takes a little more concentration than you might think. Dr. Cloud, your session was fascinating. Well, thank you, my dear, but please call me Crystal. <laughs> <laughs> I showed an earlier cut to a teacher of mine, and he suggested that Michael's voice wasn't quite, I don't know, macho enough. So he said, why don't I have another man dub his lines? I mean, can you imagine? That would sound like a bad kung fu movie or something. Listen to my voice. Focus on the rhythm of my words. The same instructor said we didn't have enough sex, drugs, or rock and roll in the film. I told him, trust me, we had plenty of that off screen. <laughs> <laughs> 